Minecraft! Minecraft! This is Brian playing Goods 404 Challenge Map. This is going to be episode 21. Last time we left off, I had just broken into a new room and was having some trouble. We're going to pick right back where we left off last time. And this time, I'm going to have a little bit more success. I'm starting to get a little bit smarter. Let's get started. I'm basically going to try one more run to try to get my stuff. And then we'll switch to different strategies. Okay. Okay, there's hardly anyone around right now. Okay, and I picked up a ton of stuff. And I can even get my diamond sword out and get some iron armor on. Okay. And I'm reasonably safe for the moment. I, okay, here comes the bad guys. Oop, dear. <laughs> All right, I would really like to get my bow. My bow is apparently on the ground somewhere. Okay, and so I'm gonna pick up a few more things, add a little bit more light just to this immediate area. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's too many enemies when I'm just kind of standing here, so I don't think there are any spawners uh, that I'm kind of within activation distance of. Oh, there's like a pillar of iron on the roof or something. That's kind of crazy, iron ore blocks. Uh, I see a few more things that I've dropped. I'm going to try to pick up a few more drops over here. I know there's a roof where enemies can fall off the ceiling on me. I see more iron over here. Okay, and I have a fair bit of iron armor, oops, crap, that I'm wearing right now. And so I'm feeling kind of good about that. I don't have a pick in the right slot in my inventory. Let me get that out. And at this point, I'm carrying a bunch of extra stuff. So at this point, it would be useful to make a kind of tactical strategic retreat back down the stairway. Uh, and drop off some of my stuff at the base, since I've got like three full things of inventory on me here. Oh, crap, crap, crap! That's okay. And then I would also like to find out where the enemies are kind of coming down on the base, and then while I'm over here, I should go ahead and plug this up behind me. And so I will just put that there, so enemies can't come down the staircase back to me. And then as we come back down towards the base... I need to figure out where skeletons were firing on me, just kind of as I came out the front door. And so where is my front door? My front door is right over here. And I don't see any enemies anywhere up here. Alright, if a skeleton was firing on me from here, he would have a either had to come from further on down. And I don't see anywhere... I could get rid of these spider webs to see if there's anything behind here, but I don't think there is. Yeah. And so he must be further on up, and so there must be something somewhere on up. Or there could be a spawner in the wall and somewhere where it's unlit that, like, skeletons were spawning nearby. So I'm not sure. But we'll deal with that in a moment. I'm going to drop off some inventory and get a little bit consolidated, and we'll try this again. Okay, I've somewhat minimalized my inventory. I do hear a skeleton somewhere nearby. And so in an ideal world, actually, he'll shoot at me, and I'll find out where he is. Oh, there he is. He's somewhere up. Okay, great. That is information that I can hopefully use. Okay, so he's somewhere up the stairs. And so, let me go find him to kill him. And then also try to figure out where he came from. There he is. Okay, great. And so somewhere over there. And so possibly there's a different direction over here as I was kind of like digging up and trying to explore. And so I may have left something else open somewhere over here. Oh yeah, there's like a whole area that I chose not to explore. Right, right. So this was kind of like the original cave over here. And I was trying to dig around the outside of the cave instead. And apparently there's enemies spawning up in the original cave area. And so I'm just going to close that up. And then, yeah, there's a few different ways that I was kind of digging around. And I'll kind of connect them over. Okay, great. So I think I am okay in terms of the skeleton who was over near my base. And now, I'm going to try to get back to, yes, this is the correct way to go. I'm going to go ahead and close off this stairway since it goes up to nowhere right now. And the last time we were here, it seemed not too bad. There's still a spawner that I need to uh, kind of put out. Let me go ahead and close this off as well. I should probably bring back a door over here. Okay, and a creeper had exploded right in my face over here last time. 
kind of put out torches at the entrance. All right, but it doesn't seem too scary right now, so I'm going to kind of walk back in. There is still that lava in the corner that's very dangerous for Brian, as well as the enemies, but I'm glad it's dangerous for the enemies. Ooh. Ooh. Let's kill off some skeletons. Okay, and now, let me eat some food. And I think there's one more zombie walking over here. Maybe? Yeah, there he is. Okay, and now I think I want to try to get rid of the lava that's over in this corner. Looks like I could just plug it up. I see, I was supposed to walk in through over there, I think. And so I think my digging around, I kind of sidetrack the next intersection or something. And so I actually am going to try to get over to the next intersection. I'm not sure the safest way to do that right now. Hello, spider. Hey. I'm going to do this. Oops. Crap. That's not necessarily the best way to get the lava out, but it's a way. I'm not sure that the lava is actually out. Nor there. Okay, I think I've at least plugged up the hole with the lava. Oh! This is this thing. Okay. So when we came down the uh, bedrock maze and we came through this hallway, we came into this room. And so now we just found a different way into this room. All right. So that's interesting. This is not kind of the best stairway up, but it's workable. And yes, it seems reasonably kind of peaceful and quiet over here. So that's happy. Uh, with the exploding creepers, I'm not sure exactly what they exploded out. I know in that piece of stone there was a spawner, and then it seems like there's spawners on the roof. I might have just looked at an enderman. Uh, and so there's definitely some kind of roof stuff. And so I think a good tactical thing to do would be build a staircase up to that roof so I can get on the roof of that building to kind of start at the top over there. And so I guess that's the next thing I'm going to try to do. And I'm going to be aware of the fact that if creepers ever explode over in this vicinity... They might open up a lava source that I don't think I actually ever put out. But I'm going to start with building a staircase up. Basically, oops, hello creeper. Along the wall, kind of starting over here near my little uh, kind of hidey hole alcove. Oops, about like that. Not sure if I'm high enough to avoid skeletons yet, and I'm not high enough to be on the roof yet. Yes, okay, I need to definitely go higher. I would like to be above these bad guys. Oops, and skeletons can fire at me. Okay, so I don't have a ton of cover right there, and so instead of doing that, how many steps did I go up? That was about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe 14 or so. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to dig up through the wall uh, so that I can kind of like dig out over into that area with cover. So I will see you guys in a moment after I do that. Okay, I dug 16 blocks up, and let's just take a peek as to where this comes out. Yes, now I'm definitely above the roof, and I can kind of get a sense of what's on the roof. There's skeletons over there who might be able to see me and shoot me. And if I continue around the corner, uh, then I could get even higher above the roof to where the skeletons couldn't shoot me, and I could drop some lava on top of there. And so I think that's a good tactical strategy to start. And so I'm going to continue to dig up. And so I'll see you guys again in a moment. Okay, so now I'm way up high in the back wall. And the good news is I do seem to be way above the ceiling. The bad news is I hear more skeletons. And it seems like I'm at the ceiling of this roof. And so, recall that there was an iron pillar kind of up in the center. And so I wonder if there's, like, skeletons guarding the top of the iron or something. But I definitely hear lots of footsteps and enemies somewhere over here. And I only brought this one pick around. I wasn't pl planning to do this much tunneling. Can't tell exactly where they are. And I also wonder if I should go ahead and try to... Does this building come all the way to the edge? I can't tell. My question is... Oops, crap, crap, crap. Okay. <laughs> a skeleton just fell out of the ceiling somewhere. I guess I need to open a little bit more of this up to see if I can get a sense. I'm actually going to open it up this way so I can kind of look down. And I'm going to go ahead and drop off... Oh, and I need to eat some food before I start getting hit. I'm going to drop off some lava like that for a moment. 
and then I'll scoop it back up and then wait for a moment and I just want to see as I kind of look down in that area what happens. Looks like there might be some grass on the roof there. Okay, there's a ladder on the iron pillar. I can't tell yet if the lava is going to hit the roof yet or not. And I still haven't figured out where it was that the skeleton managed to kind of fly by from. And, oh, it just occurred to me, I can carve out like a little hole in the roof here and put a torch there. I don't know where I hear the skeletons. And the lava seems to have gone off the side of the roof, and so it didn't end up going kind of onto the front of the roof. If I dig a little bit farther over, it might. Oh. Oh, that's just the lava pillar again, I think. Or the iron pillar. I'm going to do that again. And it sounds like there's enemies almost like right next to me over here. And so... Aha! This is an open... This spot was open compared to the last one. I think I must be right next to a room over here or something. This was open one as well. Oh, okay, there, there it is. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, it seems like it's kind of a cave system-like area over here in sandstone caves. I don't know how many enemies are over here. It doesn't sound like a ton. It only sounds like... Well, there are a number of skeletons, so there might be a skeleton spawner around. But at the same time, I only see... Like, one bad guy. I'm not sure who might be around the right corner. I don't have many torches left. And so I think I am going to have to kind of go back and restock and just... Oh, crap. I didn't even see where he was coming from. And it could be good to approach this from a little bit higher up. And so I'm going to close this back off for the moment. Uh, I'm going to bring back some more torches and supplies. And then we're going to come back up this way and try to attack this from the top and see how it relates to the room that we're just coming into over here. So I will see you guys in a short bit. Okay, so I went ahead and put down a door kind of before I walk in the room. I'm coming back with more torches and an extra pick. And I'd originally blocked this off, but now that I have the door, the door will be a friendly way to ensure enemies don't come back down here. And I hear a skeleton. Let's go ahead and take care of him. And I will just go back to where I was a moment ago, which is basically up, up, up here. And I'll see you guys at the top. Okay, I dug up a little bit higher than we were last time, so that this time, rather than coming up into that room, hopefully I'll be able to come down into that room. Yes, exactly. So this is the same room that I just started entering before, and the skeletons were shooting at me. And so it looks like I am coming in very high, and so I actually will carve a little ways back down, kind of get into this room at the room's level. And right now I don't see anybody. But that is something I can live with. Okay, there's some skeletons who are already fighting each other. So I'll let them do that while I go this way. Alright, seems to be like another intersection or something over there. I need to try to anticipate who the victor of this battle is going to be. I think it's going to be the skeleton on the left who's going to win. Well, maybe not. Okay. Oops, and here comes another skeleton. Come around here. There we go. And I saw a spider right around the corner over there as well. There he is. He seems to be stuck, and he's also kind of blocking the skeleton from getting in. There is a chest on top of the iron pillar, I think, out there. There's nowhere anywhere else... Oops. <laughs> anywhere else that someone can get me. Since I know there's... Oops, crap. Skeletons right here. I should cut out the bottom. That's just good tactics in terms of fighting off the skeletons where they can't see me. Ah, darn it. It seems like they're spawning somewhere right over here. Why don't I close this up as well? And try to get more torchlight right in this area. I'm just going to wait for a moment and see if another skeleton like spawns and falls on this platform. Or possibly there's a spawner right around here and I already got enough light to put it out now. I hear footsteps. And I hear skeletons, so one imagines there's still more skeletons over here somewhere. I guess the next thing I'll do is... Yeah, it looks like this is a, oops, a long platform. 
that I might have just opened up a hole in. Oh, it's a long platform over this way, too. Aha! There's a skeleton spawner. So I will both put out some light, and can I hit it from here? I can! Hooray! I know a skeleton just shot at me, but I haven't seen where he is yet. Okay, there's one. Great. And I would really actually like all these arrows enough that I'm going to try to run over here. There we go. Just like that to make sure I collect them. I still think there's no one behind me. Uh, and so I think I'm otherwise kind of safe in this area of this room that I just came into. And obviously there's plenty of lava back there. I'm worried about being shot off of this thing at some point because it is very high up. And so I think a fall would kill me off of this ledge. And so I really want to be sure that I'm not going to fall off of this ledge at some point before I travel out here. Okay, there's the other skeleton spawner. Oops. <laughs> and there's a creeper. And so I guess there's just a big ledge up here where monsters could spawn in the darkness or po possibly there's more spawners over here. And so right now this kind of strategy of kind of hiding a level down seems to be working really well for me. So I'm just going to continue to do it until we get to the edge of wherever this area is. Here's another skeleton, and that seems to be the edge too. Okay, great. Put out some light. Hey, skeleton. There you go. Good job. Okay. So, I think we have that edge of it. Obviously, there's a chest over there at the top of the iron pillar, and so I'm going to go back over this way now and take out this other skeleton spawner. Not quite in range. And now he just spawned and fired. Oh, crap, crap. Oh, I just fell into my earlier tunnel. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not a problem. So I'm just going to back off like that and then take my new tunnel back into this room and over. And now I should be close enough that I can knock out this skeleton spawner as well. Great, and assuming that nothing else interesting happens, I'm basically going to repeat on this side what I did on the other side, which is kind of light it up all along the way and make sure that there's no other places that enemies can spawn over here. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so I believe this platform is safe. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk and look down from the top. Great. There is the room that we came in. Here is this super high up platform. There is a hole when I was testing things out that I don't want to fall in. And so there's this ladder up to the chest, but oops, there's another hole. I've been doing some kind of probing, digging along the way, and I need to make sure I don't fall into any of those holes. I can afford at this point to go ahead and kind of open this up so I have an easy kind of route back into my little tunnel through here. I also want to make sure my tunnel is sufficiently well lit, that no enemies spawn kind of over in the corner over here. And so, rather than try to get to the chest by climbing the ladder, I think I will just place a nice platform around here and climb on up. Uh, the idea being I will do like this and like this and build a nice platform that I can't possibly make a mistake on. So, if nothing goes wrong with that, I'll take a moment to do that and see you guys in a minute when it's done. Okay, I built a platform to give me a little bit of safety. I built a staircase that's up to this chest. I think I should just need to dig out a hole up here. There's glowstone. I guess just to kind of highlight the chest. And it's yellow wool! Hooray! All right. My supplies, even at the forward base, were not doing all that well. Obviously, there's a whole lot more iron to get here, but I think at this point I am going to bring this yellow wool black bella back to the Victory Monument, and uh, we will continue from there. And so, I will see you guys back at the Victory Monument. All right, I am back at the Victory Monument, and we found the Yellow Wool! Hooray! Our first in this half. And so it seems like there's still possibly a blue wool that might have been in one of the previous areas, possibly kind of down the hole from the other intersection that I never went down. Um, and then it seemed like from that room that we just came out to that possibly it went out to another intersection, and so there could be a whole lot of other places that we could go. So I think I'm going to continue to use that forward base that I was starting, and we'll continue to explore around there next time. See you guys later.